In this video, we're going to try and find dy by dx of this polar equation. So we're going to try and draw a tangent line right here. So we're going to try and draw a tangent line here when when uh, when theta equals pi over two. So we're going to try and draw a tangent line at this point here. Okay, but but in order for us to find the uh, the equation of the tangent line, we will need to know dy by dx. We will need to know the gradient at this particular point. So in the previous video, we've seen that the gradient dy by dx is given by this. But don't try and memorize this. Uh, if you want to find dy by dx, then 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 try to remember this as opposed to this. So uh, so to find dy by dx, you uh, you you find dy by d theta, and then you divide it by dx by d theta. So if you look at the original polar equation, uh, once you have your polar equation, then x is given by this. And y is given by this. So if you want to find dy by dx, if you want to find dy by dx, then then look at this. dy, uh, work out dy by d theta, meaning differentiate this bit here. Remember, r is a function of theta, so uh, so you've got to use a product rule there. You've got to use a product rule. So so looking at this, so to find dy by dx, you will need to find dy by d theta, and dy by d theta is u, differentiating the r. So, so remember, r is this thing here. Remember, r is this thing here. So you, you could, you can imagine this as you putting this into here. So that's the same as, uh, one plus cos theta, uh, and then you've got your sine, you've, you've got your sine theta here. So looking at this, to find dy by dx, you need to find dy by d theta, meaning you've got to differentiate this. So, so we, we've got to use the, uh, the product rule here. So the product rule is differentiate this, which will be, which will be, uh, minus sine theta. Leave this alone. So that's you leaving it alone. And then plus, plus, and then, uh, and then leave this alone. That's this bit here. And then, uh, differentiate this. That will then give you this. And then to find dy by dx, uh, we've just done this. Now we need to do the, the uh, dx by d theta. So looking at dx by d theta here, uh, here we know that r is a function of theta. So we've got to use the product rule here. So uh, so the product rule is differentiate this. So uh, so when you differentiate r, remember r is this thing here. R is, so when you differentiate this, it would be minus sine theta. So hang on, let's start again. We need to find dx by d theta. So looking at this, Differentiate this, that will then give you this. Leave this alone, so that's you leaving it alone. And then plus, and then, and then leave this alone, which is this bit here. So th this is r, we're leaving r alone. And then we've got to uh, differentiate this. So when you differentiate cos theta, it will be minus sine theta. So now it's just a matter of tidying this whole thing up. So tidy it up, and then it's uh, blah blah blah. All the way down here. So when you tidy up, it becomes this thing here. Um, so 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 dy by dx is this thing here. So now we want to find. Remember, we want to find the equation of the tangent line at 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 pi over two. We want to find the tangent line at uh, pi over two at theta equals pi over two. So we want to find the tangent line right here. So, uh, so, so at, at, um, pi over two, we've got to put it into here. This would be, uh, this would be zero. Put pi over two into here. This would be zero. This here would be one. And then you've got a, a minus one out here. Sorry, a minus out there. So it becomes negative one. And then, uh, uh, at, at pi over two, you put it into here. This thing here, this whole thing here will be zero, uh, uh, leaving you with, uh, neg negative one. So dy by dx at pi over two is given by one. So we know the gradient here will be one. So, uh, so the intercept seems like one. So, well, get a, get a graph plotter and plot this. So, so you can see the gradient here, dy by dx here is one. So, uh, yeah, so that, that, this is your equation of the tangent line at pi equals, uh, sorry, at theta equals pi over 2. Yep. Yeah.